Yeah, we've got Time Warp here, and then we also have Abundant Harvest, which is a new card. Time Warp is just take an extra turn for five mana. Abundant Harvest is choose land or non-land, reveal cards on the top of your library until you reveal a card of the chosen kind, put that card in your hands, the rest of the bottom of your library in a random order. I was thinking this could be like another way to like undo a brainstorm if you put back either like two spells or two lands. The card also just seems good to me, Abundant Harvest. It might end up being better than Brainstorm in this deck, even. I don't know. I want to try it. I want to, I want to try it out. But with the new cards now, why not? Brainstorm does have, like, a few different synergies with the deck. It's good with, like, Search Race, Kanta, Narset. It's good with the Tamiyo uptick. It's good with the Jace uptick. Good with all those cards. And then, of course, we have the four, the four Shufflers here. Uh, the Japanese cards were online. They had like a bundle for each color. I, if you caught if you caught my last like cube stream, you would have noticed I had like 15k gems. Now I've got 5k gems. <laughs> that's a uh, yeah. <laughs> that's how that happened. That's how that happened. Oh man. Let's try some best of one. See if this deck's got any legs. It feels like this sort of deck would probably be better in best of three. Where you boarded the appropriate counters or what have you. Mystic Sanctuary. Yeah, Mystic Sanctuary makes sense. Be back time warp. How many would you play? Like two? There's also the the dual face land that can be a three mana regrowth. It's possible the deck wants one or two of those. Yeesh, I guess. I guess we keep this. Haze of Pollen's not in the format. There's Root Snare, and there's like a three mana one. Or is Haze Apollo new? Hey Kiridin, thanks for the sub, thanks for the 34 months. We need Eternal Witness and Historic. You're not wrong. <laughs> Eternal Witness would be pretty savage. They give us Time Warp, Primal Command, and fucking, um, what was it, Ephemerate? The one mana blink. Well, that sucked for me. Yeah, the fact that we just have a couple of root snares and no uh, acceleration seems pretty bad for this matchup. It's in Historic. Oh, nice. What should definitely be in, then? Can't even cycle these fucking things. Just rebuying um, Search for Escanta might have been good. If I draw a land here, I think that's what I'll be doing.
And then on our, on our extra turn, we can uptick again, and then down tick on time walk, time warp. Yeah, transform, right? Yeah. What do we name on the uptick? Yeah, I named Brainstorm. It was either like that or maybe Nissa. Jace? There's only one Jace left in the deck, because we'd milled one. And Jace is a two of. Yeah, I must have been looking at an old Turbo Fog list for the core. Yeah, that's much fucking better. And then the other card people wanted me to think about is that uh, the mystical thing, Majig. We have ten islands. Maybe play one. Oracle of Moldaya. I think Tamiya is better than Oracle. All these fucking explorers and growth spirals and shit. Yeah, I was thinking about Balagad recovery. Maybe yeah, we can squeeze like one of those in too. I might have to cut the Temple of Mysteries. Because Fable Passages also come into play taps sometimes in the early games. Try one Balagad recovery. I do not think this is a Epiphany deck. I think by the time you get up to Epiphany mana, you should probably already be winning. You should be doing like time warp plus other things. The search for Ascan felt great. I wouldn't hit another copy. Might end up like cutting Narsets, play a third Tamiya, play a second search. Keep trying this for now. I don't think you need Krasis. It's good with Nissa, but like Nissa also doesn't need the help. We could turn one brainstorm. And then use Temple of Mystery to scry one of them away. I'm just gonna lead on the temple. It's gonna be real boring. Learn is like loot, right? You may reveal a lesson card you own from outside the game, put it in your hand, or discard a card and draw a card. Okay. What's it gonna be? Probably the lesson one, huh? Yeah, Learn seems like a sweet best of one mechanic. Someone was saying that that was like the main reason that they shrank the sideboards. That is reverse looting. Yeah, Phoenix in the graveyard though. It's pretty cool. I think I probably should have fired off Brainstorm here. Just find an explorer. The effect is pretty good. So far we're playing against a block deck. And we're losing. <laughs> I was thinking about cycling Haze of Pollen, but I, don't, I just don't think I, would, I even want to do that, right? 
I think Hazel Pollen might be another time walk in this matchup. Time warp. Yeah, I'm going to cast this thing. You sure? Now we can just haze a Paul in their board, and then next turn go time warp plus Tamio. Jeez, that seems pretty real. No! <laughs> My Nissa! Well, that's a fucking bummer. Oh, I needed to haze there if I was going to. I think I wanted to, too. Fuck! You're sloppy, Caleb! You're fucking sloppy. My board is a lot worse without a fucking Nissa on it. Jesus fucking Christ. goes limited. I haven't fucking played limited. This is historic, friend. I don't blame you for not being able to tell the difference. I do have Haze of Pollen in my hand, and my opponent has only strict saving cards in play. Except for Phoenix, I guess. set up a situation where I can Tamio plus Haze, Haze of Pollen in the same turn. Maybe the best we can do is this Narset. Oh, that'll work. How do we uptake this? Or do we downtick? Let's uptick for Nissa. It's just really easy to get burned out if we down tick here. thought Brainstorm was looking quite bad this game. I'm not sure I agree. It's hard for Brainstorm to be too terrible. Like, the floor is a one-mana cycle.
They're just done. <laughs> They're just done. <laughs> All right. Does this deck have synergy for Brainstorm? Are you talking about in general, or are you talking about with Brainstorm? We have four shuffle effects, and then I mean, just in my hand there, at the end, you saw you had we had a we had Tamio and Narset, both of them uh, playing well with Brainstorm, both being pseudo shuffle effects if they need to be. Jace, Jace's uptick also does something similar. Narset plus rebuy haze there. No, I was probably gonna. I was probably gonna warp. Yeah, we haven't gotten questing beasted yet. Lightning bolt is one of the banned ones. Oh no. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. So they need to play one and have two more in the graveyard, right? Well, they've got, they've, or they need to have four in the graveyard. They've got four in the graveyard. So when they cast a dragon's approach, they're going to get to tutor a dragon now. They are indeed living the dream. Something tells me I might want to hold on to these Haze of Paul and Tom. But I also don't need all these fucking land. Let's just shuffle away too, huh? Actually, a forest is probably better than a harbor. This deck's pretty consistent. I think they play like a few different dragons so they can get the, the one that they want. You have to exile the ones in your graveyard, so they have to like reset up their entire graveyard again to get another dragon. It's a pretty good one. <laughs> Can Turbo Fog beat this shit? I don't know. The opponent's gonna draw a lot of cards, but like, those cards are all dragon's approaches, right? Yeah, I'm aware, Professor Chaos. I'm aware. That's a good point, though. That is one of the reasons that Abundant Harvest is in the deck. Yeah, I think they get to clear my Nissa here, regardless. This three mana thing just deals three damage, right? Oh no, it deals three damage to each opponent. It doesn't deal damage to Planeswalkers. Nice, that seems important. I think we win this, I'm not sure.
you did miss something. The dragon's approaching. If they cast a dragon's approach with four in the graveyard, they can tutor out a, tutor out a dragon. Let's explore. Does it matter? I don't think it matters. They could play Curiosity. I think it's rough. Like, you have to have so many dragons approaches in your deck. turns. Just a few turns. It doesn't kill so damn fast. While ramping you. Should we play more of this deck or should we brew more? Let's play let's play one more. It's just best of one. Hey aggro, thanks for the four months. Oh yeah the hay cycle definitely matters. It seems like people hate playing against time warp. Yeah. That is, that is the impression we're getting huh? So far, I want like a second copy of Search for Escan in the deck. Maybe a third Tamiyo. Am I gonna brew Storm? You better believe I'm gonna brew some Storm. Assuming I have enough fucking wild cards. You can keep this. You can keep this shit on the play. I kinda think you don't. I kinda think this hand's trash. Oh well. Why am I playing best of one? I didn't feel like building a sideboard. That's why I'm in best of one. I'm gonna be going through a lot of decks today. So like some of them are gonna have sideboards, some of them aren't, depending on how I'm feeling. Ooh. We're gonna get elves out. Fucking Fog's name. Haze of something. Haze ball on here it is. Yeah, I want that. Yeah, and this is a pretty easy card to underrate. The static ability mixed with 1-1 one, one counter lands. Hey, becoming Tuna, thanks to the sub, thanks to the five months there. Oh, hey, he's a pollen. Awesome. Wait, can we actually win? I didn't put a flyer in my fucking deck. <laughs> We can take a lot of turns. We might have to win with Jace. You know that? We might have to win with Jace this game.
This old, and this old, this old could help. Can our deck go infinite? Nah. Time walks are fun. This is an old one. I think Time Warp's the sweet spot. I do think it's good in this format. It's important to make them attack first before you play your fog, because you might have to, like, win through the shit. Oh, they're just done. <laughs> I'm over here like, how am I gonna win? The opponent's like, yep, scoop, done. Don't <laughs> Fuck that. Oh, man. <clears throat> Fair enough. I wonder how much equity you get by putting, like, one time warp and one fog in your fucking decks. And just watch the opponent concede the first time you play one. Man, where, where are we at? Gold tier 2. Let's just fucking play to plat. I feel like it won't even take that long. I also feel like the storm decks that I'm going to be brewing are not going to be doing much winning. So maybe I want to sneak some wins. With this Turbo Fog deck and this Arc Light deck. <sighs> Original Tamiyo? What was that one? Was that the Bant one? The storm been rough today. I mean, there's a lot of different potential builds. It seems really hard. It seems really hard, and there's a bunch of different builds. So I'm not surprised that no one's cracked it yet. It's not like there's a ton of like obvious rituals in the format. Something that I saw people like not messing with was the like the one the best ritual in the format's the fucking sack of creature make two black mana. I'm pretty sure you want to be monke monkeying with that. I wish I knew that there was gonna be another land on top. I guess it doesn't matter. I think we're just gonna growth anyway. Oh, sure, the model blue Tamiyo. That card was okay. Yeah, once again, I want to Nissa into Haze of Pollen, so I don't really want to burn the Haze of Pollen here. But I might have to. Yeah, it kind of looks like I have to Haze, doesn't it? <laughs> Fuck that. Reason to growth spiral now. I don't think it matters.
Yeah, I don't think so, Dark Drew. I haven't tried playing that deck. But like on paper, it doesn't seem realish to me. Pretty much any time I've tried to fuck around with Steamkin in Historic, it's just like ended up being rough. There's so much efficient remo removal. Brainstorm for a, a fog or a time warp, or we could Nissa and have three three threes. Nice. Do we brainstorm now? I think we do. This is going to come down to whether or not they have four points of burn damage. Because I think we get to win if we untap from here, right? We have Tamiyo that can down tick on uh, time warps. A bunch of planeswalkers. They have burned a lot of burn. What's up, Drawy? I've been enjoying the new historic format. New cards are pretty fucking sweet. Approach of the Second Sun. I think if you're playing Bant, you're not doing it to play Approach. I don't think Approach sounds very good and historic to me. Oh shit, what up? Hey Zimbot, thanks for the 19 months. I think if you're playing Bant, you're doing it so you can like play Sweepers and stuff. It's hard on the mana base, right? Like, there's definitely like an advantage to doing a two-colored mana base. Oh shit, what up? Not having to play that many shocks. Imagine if we'd had to shock ourselves this game, right? Hey, period, J period, thanks for the 41 months. Does Bone Crusher Giant see historic play? It does. It does indeed. That's a fair point. Stomp would be brutal here. Someone mentioned quest earlier too. It hasn't happened yet, but. Then we can also brainstorm and then dump tick Narset. I 
Oh yeah, the pet is just a fucking book. We can actually Mystic Sanctuary back a Time Warp there. Down tick Narset. Get that very Time Warp. Cat Brainstorms. I thought I fucking... Are they available? I thought I got everything. Event reward, but the event is no longer running. Check back later. Well, what's the fucking event? Hey, Pat Daddy, thanks for the sub, thanks for the 10 months there. You think Mystical Archive has more to it than Strixhaven? Uh, in terms of playable cards in Historic, there's, cert there's certainly more. Strixhaven's like a, you know, it's a standard set. Buy them in the store? Well, it's a, no, it says it's an event card. cup event thing. I don't think we've dropped a game in this Turbo Fog deck. We haven't played that much, but it's still sweet. You hate that they turn commons and uncommons into rares. Yeah, I mean, they've done that before, huh? I would be even happier with the Mystic Archive cards, though, if they'd been split up. If they were, like, some mythics, some rares, some... Make it easier for people to buy into Historic. It's already, like, tough to get into Historic, right? If you're not already enfranchised like myself. One song is a Deece card. Should we be running out the Sanctuary? We have two of the three islands. I think I'll play it. Cycle haste upon this this turn, but I think growth spirals is better. I realize we could draw like an explorer. It's a good reason to cast it now, as opposed to like on their end of turn or whatever. I wonder if I should be playing this card. I wonder if Salundi Vision is better than Mystic Sanctuary. The Japanese card is indeed Time Warp, you guessed it. Should I protect both Planeswalkers and like let them take a Time Warp here? I kind of feel like Planeswalkers are going to be insane in this matchup. The 
the next turn we can go Nissa on tap the breeding pool, assuming it resolves. And then growth spiral on their end of turn. Yeah, they are playing Submerged Boneyard. Interesting. I wonder if they're playing Karn if they have Talisman. Oh, they're playing Submerged Boneyard for Tainted Pact. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. The new tutor. I was really confused for a sec. I was like, Snow Covered Land, Boneyard. Like, the Blight Step is probably just a fucking, um, like, just a basic swamp in their deck. It's just better. I have exactly enough mana to Tamio back. Time warp. That's kind of good. Thoughtsies did get a bit worse with Brainstorm. I should be doing this growth spiral on their end of turn. Oh shit. Well, not enough mana for my beautiful plans now. That's alright, we can uptick Tamio. We have a Druid in the Forest. Yeah, another Forest works, I think. No, we're still one short, right? No, that can't be true. Because tap two Forests is already four for Tamiyo, and then you get an untap. Like, we could have a for sure Tamiyo hit, and I think I'm gonna shuffle first anyway. Like, like I, I think I'd rather just take my chances. Fucking Nissa and Time Warp close out games so fucking fast. Like, Tamiya still gets a down tick on Time Warp here. How's the Bun and Harvest been? Uh, it's just been a cantrip. I haven't chosen, I haven't chosen land with it yet. But still, if you think about where, where I'm casting it, I'm just, and like, naming non-land each time, it's still like, probably about as good as a preordain would be there, right? Because usually when you're preordaining at that stage of the game, you're like, bottom my, my one land, keep my one non-land, put it in my hand. And maybe just putting the non-land in your hand is similar. 
the advantage being that a non-land might be the top card of your library and then you'll get advantage of the scry or and um i'm sorry the disadvantage being that but then the advantage being there could be like a land glut that you get to chew through so the ceiling the ceiling and floor are different than preordain but the average casting might be similar it does have some synergy with brainstorm yeah that's the main reason that it's in here it's nice that your cantrips kind of work well together It might just be worse than playing, like, another Tamiyo. Tamiyo's been great. We are currently undefeated in Turbo Fog, yes. Oh shit, what up? I'm facing Mono Red again. Hey, Rapid Wrath, thanks for the 63 months. Holy shit, that is a lot of months. I actually play this for land. I don't think we're gonna need a second Nissa. How's Abundant Harvest? I think it's fine. I'm only playing like two in here. We're gonna growth sp spiral on our turn in case we find like another explore effect. We didn't, so I'm just gonna get the breeding pool in. Into he's a pawn is. I think I just said this, but it's really good. God, are they just gonna clear through my ship with this incinerator anyway? be waiting for them to target with the incinerator. God, am I not untapping with fucking my forest or my Nissa? They just need another three damage spell. This incinerator is attacking for zero damage this turn, and it's still somehow dealt nine. <laughs> what the shit is that? <laughs> oh my god. This is probably the happiest I've ever been breaking a winning streak. This is our first loss with this deck, right? against fog yeah right jeez yeah we actually beat our other mono red opponent but they were you know they cared more about attacking
fight these sleeves a lot. Renara Draw is missing Cleans Walkers and Explore effects. Almost worth brainstorming on one. To try and find like an explorer for two. I actually want these fucking lands. I'm not sure if I want Jace or Tamio here. I just know that I want one of them. Tamiyo upticks for one higher, but Jace always gets the card. Let's play Jace. I played a lot of Tamiyo. Let's see if Jace does anything. Then next turn, the idea is that we play the Tamiyo out and uh, hold up Haze of Pollen. You don't get the horn card. The horn card. Um, is mostly there to make it easier for them to play their six drop, right? And makes it cheaper. And then this helps with grinding, right? Jace down. Yeah, it's a common card to board in against control decks. This is game one, of course. Because we're just playing best of one. I think it was naming Time Warp. You could name Nissa, right? Just off the top, right? Did this tech get banned already? Spiral is not what we need here. Oh, there we go. 
I got the mana. Right? If I tap it like this. need second Nissa rain. I'll make things easier. Oh shit, what up? Hey get stash thanks for 18 months. Jacksonology thanks for the solid for 22 months. Appreciate you both. This game's a good example of like why you let them attack first before you play your Haze of Rage, right? Just made things a lot easier. We didn't have to try winning with Chase. Really good, uh, really good sign that a lot of our games that we've cheesed with like the like Nissa and a couple of extra turns. A lot of those games, um, we could have kept going, right? We had, like, time warps to spare. Yeah, I don't even know what goblins would board for that. Maybe some anti-fog effects. Bring in Stomp. I don't know. Hey, take care. TRF6. Dr. Gamer PhD. Definitely hoping to hit some lands. Like a blue land next turn, but let us fire off both growth spirals. Agro Bolas. Nice. So the really cool thing about Agro Bolas is that it can uh, reset your brainstorm for you. I like that a lot. Damn. I've played this card in Legacy before. It was very specifically in a deck that didn't want Snapcaster, but wanted a value creature to like block for its planeswalkers. 
We could also pitch to force a will. Very niche. The deck didn't want Snapcaster because he was playing Light from the Loam and Punishing Fire. So most of the cards just didn't play didn't play well with it. They like recruit themselves already. Some nice churn going on. Y'all are making fun of Agra Bolas. But I found a brainstorm this game. Oh, are they playing twin? Are we just dead? Seems unlikely. Oh, nope, they are. <laughs> I didn't think this was the uh, the twin next mana base, but I guess I'm wrong. Yeah, we don't have a we don't have a fog here, so I guess we lose. They get haste at the end, right? I guess it could be in their hand. Yeah, the the brainstorm adds a lot to the twin deck because you can now you know just have the best cantrip ever printed in your fucking neoform deck. Yeah, they usually play two of the Haste Granter. I'm just making sure that they're not, like, both in their hand somehow. Which seems really unlikely. God, I wish I had a Haste of Pollen here. Yeah, this one gets Celebrant, and then this one gets the, the Haste Granter. Plenty of damage. Probably get some of my mages in the deck. They have the clone too. They're cloning the um the dual caster. So they can have more dual casters. That was neat, it was. It was indeed. Neat! But we're dead! Uh oh. I think we were on the play the last time we faced goblins. That could fucking matter. Name land. Hoping that I don't have to go like TMEO uptick for Haze next turn. We saw a Haze when we, we fired off the Abundant Harvest for land. Is why I shuffled. Is why I shuffled before I'm playing my cantrips. Or are we just dead here? Yeah. Yeah, Mux is gonna be worth a lot of damage. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
I wonder if Timmy would have found it. Uptick find Haze, Haze them, dump tick on Haze, play Nissa. We have three losses now. We were undefeated for a while in there. I got a little too close to Plat. The arena gods were like, you must play more of this deck. It's good to be brought back down to reality, huh? So you're not like, this is the best deck ever! Couldn't haze, I wouldn't have two lands for it. What? What are you talking about? The next turn? I was talking about playing Tamiyo and upticking. Play any lands. I was talking about the next turn trash. If we got to untap, I didn't want to have to go. Um, Tamiya look for pays the next turn. You're talking about something completely different from myself. Also a sexy turn from the opponent. So take an extra sum. Wait, did they not make an emblem? Did they do the wrong zero? Oh no, here it is. I was like, where's the fucking... I'm used to Moto, where there's like a fucking emblem token in play. And I was like, what's going on? Hey, Dingo Dante, thanks for the sub, thanks for 56 months. You hope I'm enjoying the new set? I am enjoying the new set. Fucking sweet. Oh, pack of negation for the Gideon. Yeah, that'd be hilarious. I bet they have warps in there too. Warps and chance for glories. But it's like time warps not good enough good enough. I must have more. What the name? That's fair. That is a fair name. Casting. I feel like activating as Kanta might be better, or like maybe even running out Nissa. We can't activate the Nissa. It's just like a just makes my mana better. Yeah, I'm just gonna pass.
but super obnoxious. Because now every time I take an extra turn, I'm taking damage along with it. Fucking I don't think so. I think I play the Jace. Nice. Yeah, let's lead on Brainstorm. Am I going to need Redundant Jace? terrible one. Where's my fucking search? Here we are. Take a Nissa, there's a fucking spyglass in play. This will do it for me. so bad for my opponent. Not that bad, but, you know, kind of bad. Let's do the time warp again! Yes. <laughs> do we play another land? There's something to hold on to a land for brainstorms and such. So we play this, put Time Warp on top, take the action, uptick Tamio. what am I going to name? What am I going to name, folks? Yeah, that makes sense. The revealed cards box is so annoying.
Can't win with Jace with the emblem. Oh, I don't think we can win at all then. <laughs> My lack of having like a random shark or whatever in here. Either a one of sh the shark maker or a one of um, the bounce spell, right? One of those two. Yeah, because Jace is supposed to be my backup, but that obviously doesn't beat Gideon. Should I just scoop then? Yeah, we don't have a Brazen Bar right now. You think I do win with it? <laughs> I mean, I don't, <laughs> but I'll show you. <laughs> We're here anyway. No, there's no Blast Zone. I know what's in my own deck, folks. <laughs> oh, shit, what up? Hey, Griffin 9 thanks for the sub, thanks for the 31 months. Remember when I felt bad from the opponent? Yeah, I remember. <laughs> I remember. I still feel bad. They still had to, like, watch me slowly lose. <laughs> I, still, I still feel bad for them. Oh, man. Do we think Shark or Brazen Borrower is better? As a one-of. Shark plays well with Nissa. Brother Teresa, thanks for the sub. Thanks for 27 months. At least that looked cool losing. Yeah! <laughs> I definitely do not want to commit to memory now. That one's clunky. Shark can be found off Narset. That's, a, that's actually a really good point. I'm not sure Narset even belongs, to be honest. It might be the worst card in the deck. Do I cut a Jace? I think Jace is the most intuitive cut. And then we have two all win conditions. I don't have any interest in playing a man land now, a creature land. There's already like enough shit in this mana base with the one of Balagad Recovery and the one of Sanctuary. Krasis, I think Krasis is worse than Shark Typhoon. I don't think Gideon is su has such a presence on Historic that we need to, like, super tech for it or whatever. But it might be nice to have one more thing. Like, here I'm just splitting my all-win conditions. No, I'm not playing a Blast Zone. You can. If I was building a sideboard for this, I would throw a Blast Zone in the sideboard. Use the aggro decks. Should we build a sideboard? We spent some time on the deck. Is Abundant Harvest necessary? No. Neither is the fucking Brainstorms we're playing. <laughs> this is a cantrip. If I was going to cut out Abundant Harvest, I would play another search. Abundant Harvest is obviously better, like, when you're comboing off. But another copy of Search would be good. Those are the two things that I was thinking about nothing. Rutamio and Search. And you could cut Narsets for those. You could cut the Harvests for those. You could shave one of each. I actually think one Narset might be better than two Narset. Wait, I might, I might want a third Tamio in here. Harvest has really impressed you so far. It's been it's been fine for me. I've been like hated drawing it. No, I don't. I don't. I don't like uh, commit to memory. 
Four mana is a lot of mana. And I've like never wanted a memory so far. We've been good on gas. Cut this one. I'll just skip this one here. Yeah, the only the only downside to search is if you draw it, like when you're trying to chain fogs and time warps together, and then hitting multiple could be really bad. But it's been great for me every time I've drawn it. All right, I was gonna build a cyborg. these fucking things. Why is it split them up like this? It's so bad. Great. <laughs> Great. Is it because I have this set on like... No, they're still split up. If I play Alrun's Epiphany, I'm cutting, not cutting Haze of Pollen for it. I think four is like the minimum, and five might be correct. There's so many matchups where you really want to go Nyssa on like turn four, and then untap a forest and have Haze up. It's really important against Goblins, against the Twin Dank, against like any aggro deck. That's like how you turn the corner and win. So you definitely don't want four fewer than four Fogs, and five might be better. Yeah, I, I get that the the UI it's like it's like best of it's it's bad. I don't I don't I don't care why they did it. I care that they did it and it's terrible and I have to deal with it. There's no reason for my fucking mystical sp disputes to be split up. Now that I like switched it over to um to best of three, right? There's just like no reason for that at all. Like the sideboard was already the most obnoxious part of like taking deck pictures and like managing deck building and they just like made it worse. <sighs> Re-add them? No, I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna fucking finish building my sideboard. Both Narsets could be in the board. It's not crazy. I don't think we need to sideboard more sharks, no. We could. Are they just like good against counters? Is that where you where you would board them in? Probably good at pressuring opposing misses in the mirror too. Enchantments. Yeah, I haven't faced that deck at all today. Do I need a way to deal with Questing Beast? I don't know. We haven't fucking faced that card at all. Oh, shit. What up? You could also, like, against Questing Beast, you could also just, like, have a draw and just, like, not draw Haze of Pollens. We're also sideboarding, like, a shit pile of Aether Gusts. So you can, like, Gus keep questing Beast and still play a Fog. Hey, Mr. Riggins, thanks for the sob, thanks for the 51 months. I think I want, like, one of the Bounce Flyer in the sideboard. One Brazen Borrower, and then, like, maybe a Negate.
I can't just fucking great oh, shit. What else? sweet. <laughs> I'll just click and drag. <laughs> just drag another one. <laughs> That's fine. That's a useful thing. Hey, Wary dude, thanks for the sub. Thanks for 14 months. The sideboard view is brutal. It's really fucking brutal. They're gonna change it, right? There's no way they keep this. There's, there's no fucking way. <laughs> I can't believe they, like, tested this. You know, and they were like, yes, this is ideal. This is good. I wonder if they had something better, and then, like, some bug made them, like, switch to this at the last minute. Ah, let's fucking do something! <laughs> Probably do want some, like, number of disenchants. Or life gain. I'm gonna throw a Weather the Storm in there. Maybe even two. Like, one Weather the Storm. Do you play the cycle disenchant, or is there a better one? You don't know how they could make it better, but still be functional. Yeah, I mean, you would just fucking select your deck type. It's here where it says tra tra traditional his historic. Right? So with traditional, it would just give me a normal 15 card sideboard. And then when I would click historic, it would just give me a seven card sideboard. You just, like, wouldn't need this fucking best of three only or whatever. And if you want the same deck for both formats, you just clone it and set one for Historic and one for... Anyway. Yeah, no, I'm obviously not blaming testers, Fairwind. Mmm... Return to Nature. I think the Cycle one's better than Return to Nature. Wilt or whatever. Gross and Grip. Gross and Grip seems much worse than, than, uh, than Wilt. In this deck, if you, like, have a dead card in your hand, that's one of the reasons that Haze of Pollen is such an upgrade over the other Fog. If you have a dead card in your hand, being able to, like, chuck it for a couple mana on your, like, later turns when you've got Nissa in play and you're, like, really just trying to cast the last Time Warp for the win. I don't know if you're talking to me, Daggerhawk. I definitely don't think that the, like the cyborg or even the cyborg that they used to have was like the the best, like most optimal thing or whatever. But I do know that this is worse. <laughs> I know I know that this is a step in the wrong direction in terms of like how to do how they should be doing their cyborgs. My own personal user experience. Anyway. I am fucking stoked about these new cards, though. That's pretty cool. I think I'm gonna take a quick bathroom break, um, and I'll come back and play this deck in a little bit of best of three, and then, um, and then if I do some more losing, I'll just, like, start Brewing Storm anyway, because I do want to play a little bit of Tendrils today. A little bit. Oh, I got you, Daggerheart. I got you. Yeah, that delay, huh? That chat delay. Anyway, I'll be back in a few minutes. Oh man, thanks for hanging out, folks. Thanks for waiting for me. Let's see. So we were like two man. We were like two wins away, and now I think we're more than that. Now I think we're like three wins away. Mm. We'll see if I win. Ugin slash Tormont script. I could see a one of Ugin being sick. Yeah, and Tormont script isn't crazy. I don't know, what are you boarding in Crypt against? Just like the r fucking red black deck? I haven't seen much gift lately.
The sand needs land drops and acceleration. Phoenix? I don't know if we're weak to Phoenix. Just like casting fogs and shit. I do not think Kefnet is worth playing, no. The Boros Phoenix deck did quite poorly. We only played like three or four games with it, but it didn't... I think it won like a game and... I don't know, it, it felt bad. The Blue-Red Phoenix deck was doing really well, by contrast. Yeah, not having any acceleration here is poop. <laughs> it's... It's super poop. Ideally, we'd be playing like Growth Spiral or Explore, get the fourth land down, and then next turn we can go Nissa and tap a land. Whereas right now I'm like tempted to fire off Haze of Pollen this turn. Uh, if you just go to my fucking cardboard live, you'll be able to find the list for the the blue red the blue red phoenix. It's like literally linked above in the chat, the cardboard live link. Pretty sure I have to haze a Paul in this turn. No, no getting fancy with Tamiyo for me. Wow, they might regret not holding onto that. They might just have another one too. Tamir Phoenix? No, I don't think you want to add more colors to Phoenix deck. The blue-red de Phoenix deck was feeling pretty good. Oh shit, what up? Phoenix really wants to have a consistent mana base, and you start to lose that when you dip into more colors. Wait, they're just stomping me now? I'm gonna respond to that. Wait, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter when I cast it, right? Yeah, it doesn't matter at all. We're just super dead. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. When the end of turn stomped, I was like, oh man, we're gonna pull this out. We're not, we're, we're not doing that. <laughs> we're just real dead. Let's get some Aether Gusts in here, huh? Cut an set. We don't have time for Search. The one of Search has been so good. Maybe I got Jace. Maybe I just like don't fucking need Jace in this matchup. Play Blast Zone over Mystic Sanctuary. Uh, what else? This is like whether the storm is funny on the turn that they like burning tree. <laughs> They're like burning tree, burning tree, burning tree. You're like, eh. <laughs> you have to have it up though. I think this is probably good. We could play more Shark Typhoons. I don't think we need to load up on those though. The green one mana card is a, a preprint. It's coming out in Modern Horizons 2. It's called Abundant Harvest. One mana sorcery. Choose land or non-land. Reveal cards in the top of your library until you reveal a card of the chosen kind. Put the card in your hand the rest of the bottom of your library in random order. So if you're cantripping early to hit a land, then it's like really good because you're 100% hitting a land every time. And if you're cantripping late to hit a non-land, well, then it's really good, because they're hitting a Numblade every time. So it's a, it's a pretty great cantrip. Probably going to see a lot of play in a lot of different formats. I've been happy with two so far, but I can see four being correct, or zero being correct. It's that kind of card. Yeah, 
Yeah, for sure, Will. I mean, it's a new fucking card, right? <laughs> I'm sure there's lots of folks who haven't seen it yet. How are we breaking a storm lock? A storm lock? What are you talking about? Should I just fucking gust this thing? I don't think so. I think I want to grow Spiral into Tamiyo. Shuffle effects? Well, there's four shuffle effects for the Fabled Passage. But in terms of resetting the top of our library, there's a lot more than that. Like, the Brainstorm works really well with uh, with Tamiyo up ticks, with Narset down ticks, with Search for Kanta, with Jace up ticks. There's just a lot. Still just growth spiral here. Yes. Japanese versions. Uh, I bought them. I had some extra gems in the store in bundles. I think I blew like 10k gems on on Japanese versions of the of those cards. I'm gonna do this, and then I'm gonna either gust whatever the play is for the turn. Nothing. Nothing's the play. Yeah, they should have named this um. more warp action. That's all I want. Rhyme. 
And then I'm pretty sure we cash in Tamio here. It's a lot of damage. Oh, I can cash in Tamio for another Tamio. Oh, that's way better. And then this one gets a warp. And then in my extra turn, I'll have a Tamio uptick. I crack this. Starting to look kind of not alive, opponent. GG! Hey, Brian Shaman, thanks for the sub, thanks for the nine months. Glad I didn't try bringing in Weather the Storm against the deck that has like the three mana 3 3 that prevents you from gaining life. They were still dead on board if they blocked, yeah. They needed to like block my first Nissa swing, which is really counterintuitive. But then I would have had to find another turn somewhere or something. Having fun? Having a little bit of fun. Will I come back and play this deck after today? Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe not. I don't know. There's a bunch of sweet things you can do with Time Warp. Throw a Kahira in the board. We could do that. It's probably worth a sideboard slot. I don't know. Fairly free. Iran's Epiphany is good. Do you think I should be playing the Epiphany over the Shark? I kind of like Epiphany over the Shark. In the main deck. How many, how many Yalrin's Epiphanies do you play? I think this might be a Mull. On the draw. I'll keep it. Three. Yeah, I was thinking two or three might be okay. Four seems a little pricey, but maybe that's still fine. I do not have an LLC, no. I know some content creators do and some don't. The main reason to get one... God, do I really want to brainstorm here? I kinda did. Like Shock Self, Brainstorm, and then Tamio like misses on one of the cards, the Brainstorm cards. What was I talking about? Oh, the main reason to get an LLC is if you're gonna have like a like a dedicated building to your like dedicated to your content. Let's put Nissa and extra Tamio back. Let me name land with this.
And then I'm considering playing a tapped breeding pool here. I'm wondering what the odds are that they fucking murder me if I play a tapped breeding pool. We die to Embercleave. Like, land Embercleave would kill us pretty... Pretty legit. Not having Shock Self is pretty big. I'm gonna do this and, like, just hope it works out. I've not been manatized, no. Yeah. They have a lot of mana untapped. I'm wondering if I should even go for the Nissa line, or if I should, like, just take an extra turn here with Time Warp. have to do the Nissa thing. We're just dead if they can just kill my forest is the issue. There's a few issues. Project X. Thanks for the 25 months. So we're going to declare a, uh, a blocker first before we haze a pollen here in case they have stomp. the Roman Opera runes in play. All right, <laughs> it's go time, folks. <laughs> it's go time, let's win somehow. <laughs> be trading, yeah. They don't actually need any creatures in play, right? Because the ruins just kills me. Tamio. Let's fire off this first. Oh shit, what up? Hey, cannot win. Thanks to the sub, thanks to the 34 months. You know what's better than rebuying Time Walk here? Actually, we just have a win, right? There's nothing better. We have the we have lethal. We just do the thing. I was thinking I need, needed more damage. I, I almost rebought Brainstorm, just to, like, give me three cards deeper, whereas the Tamiya down tick only gives me one card deeper. But if we six them here and then nine them next turn, it's just, like, plenty lethal. God, Tamiya's so fucking nuts.
Rank up. Gold tier one for the first time. For the first time this stream. <laughs> Tammy Nuts or is it Nissa? It's both. They're both great. Oh man. Am I only one win away from Plat? Better fucking play it then, huh? I better fucking play it. Oh yeah, I was gonna add the, the Brood through time. I was gonna add the Time Squawk. I'm not sure what over. Oh, it'd be over the Shark, yeah. Yeah, I think I like Time Squawk better than the Shark. One Jace. One Al runs. We started off with multiple Phoenix builds, JJ. Seemed decent in the games that we played. God, do I been a Time War? I don't want to. Yeah, right below 100. Historic feels a lot different. I've also been enjoying it. It's been a nice shakeup. I'm sure not all of these cards will stay legal for forever. Oh, is this a mirror? Fuck. We're playing best of three. Yeah, we fucking, um, we went from two Tameo to three and cut the main deck Narset action. So maybe one Narset was still left in here. Oh, they've got theirs. Narset is great in the mirror, yeah, you're not wrong about that. Hey, Gat6, thanks for the 56 months. Let's get this Tameo rolling. I'm just gonna even warp here. Alright, Tamio, Daddy needs a hit. Yes! We can listen to that, right?
Let's see. So we have another warp here with the recovery. The question is if we try and clear Nissa here, or if we just like clear the Narset. supposed to kill the Narset. And then we, we can warp and cycle this Haze of Pollen. How many brainstorms have we milled? Just the one. That might be a better uptick name than Time Warp. Cycle this here card here. Cycle this here card here. Oh shit, what up? Hey, the Seared. Thanks for the sub. Thanks for the four months. Or do we just fucking downtick Tamio? I feel like an uptick is really fucking good. Did we mill a Tamiya? Oh, we did. Yeah, we could do that line. We did that line earlier. Oh shit, what up? Yeah, going up to three Tamiya makes this line a lot more common, easy. Yeah, it's possible that even clearing the Narset was wrong. So his Apollons are coming out. That just makes sense. Not sure about the rest of this shit. Like, do I want Brazen Borrower? I probably want Aether Gust for their Nissas. And Tamios. Is this just like too much fucking counter magic? It feels like way too goddamn much counter magic to me. I could cut all the explore shit. All the ramp. Shark Typhoon is good against opposing walkers, but maybe we don't want it, Tom. Abundant Harvest. Works through Narset. Oh, shit. With them having Narsets, I kind of want to cut some Brainstorm action. And cut these Explorers. I was like, leave the Shark in. Brazen Borrower might be better than Shark in terms of like applying pressure to Walkers. Yeah, thanks for the 22 months creating. Hell yeah. Yeah, cutting the explorers means that we're just like less likely to get hit by Narset. Because Growth Spiral we can play on their turn if we really need to. I wonder if just cutting Brainstorm entirely is okay. Oh, and just do this. Brainstorm's good, but it gets a lot worse. It might just it might just get bricked anyway. Hey, Mr. Medicus, thanks for the sub, thanks for the 35 months. Hey, 
I'm supposed to keep this. On the draw. We can just pass here, and if they play Narset, we can Growth Spiral in response. Doesn't even have to be in response, right? I'm gonna do it now anyway. Oh shit, what up? Oh shit, what up? Hey, Jakerson, thanks for gifting a sub. So if they attempted to slam uh, Nissa here, we would just like Aether Gust on tap and clearly Narset. Hey yeah, Kim, congrats on uh, receiving said sub. Heck yeah. sense to have a negate in their hand. They wouldn't have put that on top. I don't even know why I'm bothering to clear the Narset. Oh shit, what up? Sure. Hey, little beats. Thanks for the sob. Thanks for the three months. Gator, mystical dispute of our own here, huh? Instead of, instead of our third fucking Nissa. And now they have Negate up for my Nissa, which is pretty backbreaking. Still gonna cast the shit, but game's pretty over. I mean, I guess a lot depends on their last three cards, huh? Sanctuary hurt me. Yeah, it did. Like, if it had been an island, I would have been able to play the Narset and still have the, the Aether up. And the Narset probably would have eaten in the gate, so that would have been really good. Oh shit, what up? Oh shit, what up? Hey, FIPC1396, thanks for the sub, the two months. Kinda looking like we're gonna go to a game three here. Oh, she went up. Hey, Grizzly138. Thanks for the sub. It's the nine months. That game made me want to cut Shark Typhoon entirely. It just didn't seem like it mattered. Yeah, thanks for the fucking 420 bits, Schmitzels. Fuck yeah. If I win this game, I believe we're in plat. I think regardless, I'm gonna after this game, I'm gonna I'm gonna do some more brewing. Win or lose. Oh shit, what up? Hey JJ728, thanks for the sub, thanks for sharing that prime.
Yep, exactly, Dot Canvas. Uh, Muxus comes down on turn four or five, and that kind of like sets the sets the pace. The question here is whether we want to lead on Balagat or not. I think no. I think what I want to do. Maybe I do. And then I would name Nonland with Harvest. It's probably better. Abundant Harvest has been solid. Fuck, I don't know. Happy to see search resolve here. Ah, oh, they got a dispute of their own aim. gonna chill. <laughs> yeah, now's when we lose to their Shark Typhoon, huh? Yeah, this is the one spot where, like, Shark would be better than Nissa. Maybe Jay should have come out. Jace do in this deck? Jace wins the game. Having a card that draws an extra every turn is really good when you're popping off with time warps. And then it's a win condition that doesn't use combat. about the mystical dispute. Or maybe it's vice versa. We don't have a breeding pool, so we can't go Nyssa into Time Warp with this land. The search doesn't flip, right, if we've been. Yeah. 
I don't fucking know. I like hitting my land drop, but if we did hit a breeding pool, that'd be the dream. I'm gonna graveyard it. That's a fucking bummer, man. That's a fucking bummer is what that is. <laughs> yeah, I think we handily get to win this game if we had a breeding pool. Oh, well. Search is definitely flipping. So another time walk effect would be a win here, but it doesn't look like they have that specifically. I feel like I need to bin this and then just like, because we could keep it, right? If we were in a, like a slightly better position, we could keep this and then warp with negate up. I think I just have to get fucking lucky, though. I think I have to bend this. We need a few things. We need a few things to go right here. Do I have any plans to brew with Thassa's Oracle plus Tainted Pact? Um, maybe. I wasn't, I wasn't planning on it. <laughs> 